Construction of the TMT still hasn't begun as demonstrators remain at the base of Mauna Kea Access Road. Jen Boniza joins us live with an update. Jen. Bridget, I'm here at the base of Mauna Kea Access Road. Just around 4 o'clock, we saw a long caravan of vehicles packed with scientists being escorted off of Mauna Kea. They were being led by sheriffs. And then just moments after that, Jessica Dempsey, the deputy director of the East Asian Observatory, announced that all of the scientists were leaving Mauna Kea Observatory and that they would be gone possibly indefinitely or at least until TMT is built. She says that the decision was made for safety reasons. Now she says it's also unprecedented. This is something that has never happened before. So the Mauna Kea observatories have millions of dollars worth of instrumentation. Uh, this isn't a camera that you can go and buy off the shelf. A lot of these are very fickle. These instruments need a lot of love and, and, and tender loving care. Uh, and often this means daily. So this is a risk and a wrench for us to have to step away to this point. It's one of the reasons why we are hoping that this does not, uh, we do not have to extend this uh, particular period for very long. Again, no word on exactly how long all of the scientists will be away from the Mauna Kea Observatory, but we will continue to monitor the situation and let you know as things progress. Now, this is day two of the standoff between the Kia'i, the protectors of Mauna Kea, and law enforcement. It was much quieter, much calmer than the first day. However, there was still a lot of tension in the air. A major point of contention on this day, access to Mauna Kea. This is part of every fabric of our makeup as Kanaka Mauli. Part of our culture it is the essence of our culture to be guardians, to be keepers of Aina. The standoff continued with both Kia'i of Mauna Kea and law enforcement clearly setting boundaries along Mauna Kea Access Road. Bamboo barricades block telescope technicians from moving forward until more than an hour later, they were allowed to pass on a case by case basis. We're very appreciative that they're allowing us to go up. We have a problem at our telescope that we need to service. Okay. So right. they're, they're uh, requiring us to go up now. I'm told it's about the principle of the matter. If Kanaka have no access to the mountain, nobody have access to the mountain. And that really was the crux of the argument. Ongoing negotiations came to a grinding halt after terms could not be agreed upon. Kia'i asked for three things. To be allowed to man a checkpoint controlling who was able to pass that National Guard remain at the base of Mauna Kea Access Road and to have just one car a day gain access to the summit for religious and cultural reasons. All of those terms were non-negotiable to them. They weren't interested. For now, Kanuha tells me it is the Kupuna who are choosing to hold the line, waiting for police to take them away. Now, the end of day two is nearing, and so far there have been no arrests and no injuries here on Mauna Kea Access Road. Uh, Kia'i still have their tents blocking the area. We still have bamboo um, barricades up, but what's going to happen next, we'll just have to wait and see. Live from Mauna Kea, sending it back to you in the studio.